Holy smokes, my good friends. I'm about to walk in the, the TPG, baby. Get this key in here. And we're gonna get to work. So, cab's coming off today. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna get to slap getting down and we're gonna pull the cab off. So, let's get to work. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. Not doing good. We got, holy smokes, that was bright. Let's see if I can do a little block in here. All right, so everything's ready to, the cab is ready to come off. How about that? Except these three bolts, okay? So I got one, I got my Allen wrench deal on it right now. One, two, three. But my arms are not long enough to put in here and out here and work them both. Sucks about working in the shop alone. So, once we get those three out, the cab will be ready to come off. We'll have the cab off of the deal, and it'll be badass. Let me start pulling some of that tin work out. I don't know if I'm going to pull this side out yet. I've been, uh, been thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, I'm just going to have to see. Uh, I'm all up in the air. Oh, yeah, I got the dash out. So, we got the dash out and jazz. All that cool shit. And you know, sitting over here. But yeah, so I'm going to uh, run a to town, grab some shit to eat, and hopefully find some manual labor. Come on. All right, Big Chungus. So before they look at it, what are they getting ready to see? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Should we just show them? Yeah. All right, so we walk in, we just got the cab off, and Kent's like, let's put the front end on it. <laughs> so we got the K5 Blazer out for a little, <laughs> for a little whip. Oh, what, what are those bracket cars that they like chop the top off of, and it's just got the funny car cage, and they run like 300 feet, and the damn thing shuts off, and then it's like back at it again. I don't know much about bracket racing and shit, but there you go. We got the cab off of the dude. Bam, check it out. So of course we'll take the front end off of it and jazz, but we got all that out. We'll work on getting everything else out. Uh, probably gonna leave the tin work in on that side. Why? I don't know, I'm just feeling like it, but firewall's coming out of course, all that great shit. So we're just moving along steady. Last night we ran into a couple of problems. We ended up getting them worked out, but there you have it. Whole milk with no cab. We got a uh, Pro Mod Delete Kit going on. Yes, baby. Carburetor Delete Kit. Damn. Pro Mod Delete Kit. Oh, this is getting bad, ain't it? It's getting street carish up in here. Come on. All right. So there you got it. It's kind of. Kind of weird looking, ain't it? I don't know what to do with all this. This Pro Mod jazz. When you see it at first, it's a truck. You know what I mean? And you don't really think. And then you get all these. You start to look at all these bars and shit. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Put a steel cab on it. Come on. Where are we going? Oh, Boone. John Boone. All right, we're uh, gonna show y'all a little surprise. Come on. All right, so, you probably can't see me right now, but we're getting ready to visit the legendary. You ready? 
the door's cracked for a little bit of service. <laughs> Look at that man in there. Come on. John Boone. Legendary. One and only. Got a bunch of top secret stuff in here, so we're going to have to stop filming for now. Look at this great debacle that we have ran into. We're tearing the truck apart. Who thought this was a good idea? No, I'm just kidding. I did. All right. So, of course, yesterday we had a cab and jazz off of it. All that great stuff. So, I got the shoots off of it. Shoots for sale. If anybody wants to buy some dual shoots with launchers and hold on. All this air stuff. I never used it and plan on it. CO2 tank mount. All that jazz. It's for sale. Handle. All that great stuff, Noid, blah, blah, blah. But besides that, I got a gate off of it, a couple other things. So let's talk about something. This side of the truck is fine. Nothing ever happened to it besides this piece of tin come unglued. So what we're gonna do is uh, put it back the way it was because I don't ever plan on really doing anything. I like to keep my Band-Aid. And this side of the truck is fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Now you come over here. You remember that great accident we got into where somebody come up through the stage lanes with a parachute out. Grabbed the wing. Of course, we pretty much fixed it. But it was all bent up, jacked up mess. And it pulled the, pulled the glass off. So we got a little bit of glass work. Messed up our tin work in here. I believe we can flatten that back out and all that. So this is gonna come out. So what I'll do is I'll take these rivets off the side, pull this piece of tin, flatten it out, get it right. And uh, probably pull that little section of the tub back in because it's all bent up and stuff. And do some glass work here. Uh, and maybe even take this bedside off and paint it. And I might even take the other bedside off and paint it. I don't know. Because this on the bottom, as you can tell, is a wrap. So I like to get the wrap off and I'd like to actually just paint it. And we'll put new trim on it, all that jazz. And yeah, it'd be too cool for school. So right now, I'm probably about to jack the front end up, jack the rear end up, get it all on jacks, clean up all this mess that we have, and pull drive shaft out of it motor transmission those backwards motor transmission and start getting this thing tore down all the way and you see some wires in here some miscellaneous stuff or powering grounds to our boxes and all that jazz but we uh we're we're getting busy talk to somebody that may have just a cab which is cool too and it's already cut up because he's got it on his chassis truck and he wants my fiberglass cab. So I might do some trading there, not too sure. But we're getting busy. So come on, let's get back to work. Has anybody looked at this yet and been like, what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? Because that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Look at this. What the hell is going on? So we got whole milk up on the G stizzles and uh, yeah we're gonna start pulling the motor and transmission out of it I just filmed something but I'm like damn I keep like stopping myself I'm like man this is the farthest I've ever dug into a pro mod car in my life just to make it not a pro mod still got a bunch of bars in it but that'll make a pro mod oh man I'm so excited but at the same time I'm like holy shit this is a bunch of work but it's gonna be alright because uh, trailer park garage, baby. Come on, let's get back to work. Oh my goodness, trailer park garage, check it out. I made it to get rid of all my grid shit. Check these guys out. Ready? Check it out. Whoa, look at this. Got the Monte Carlo. Look at all these guys. Look at Michael, the driver. Damn, look at this. 
Chill. Tell right. him. What, what, what's up, brother? <laughs> Tell him what's up. Hey, you know what? Tell him what's up. That Chris shit is what's up. You okay. Know, Chris is one of my best friends. Okay, let's go see your best friend. This is Chris. This okay. This is my best friend. Chris this is, is best friend. His name is Chris Meyer. Chris and Meyer. And the other guy right here is Michael. Okay. He's the one what's that up? drives this car right there. What car? That guy, he drives the oh, money. The one he that's got the wheels the up over? Come on. Hell yeah. Whoa. What do you think about that? To the yeah. Come on. What's what's behind hey. us? What's behind well, Chip? What's behind what, us what, is a 1962 bubble top. Wow. And this has a, I'm sorry, it's a Pontiac that came from an original. I'm sorry, it's the original. Uh, I'm it's, sorry, Chris, if you can tell more about this. It it's would a Pontiac be nice engine. If you would shut up. <laughs> That is a 598 cubic inch big block Chevrolet. Come on. With Pontiac Pro Sock heads. Whoa. Super Duty into the 1998. Come on. Come on. And just check this old ass transmission we got. Oh. I don't know if we can show Trailer Park Garage any badassness like this. Oh, you, are you yeah, sure you're ready? So you ready? Ass. You ready? Oh. Bam. Wow. Oh, that is four what speed. You know about banging gears, four yeah. speeds of loveliness. Wow. With a converter drive. Yeah, I know. Chad, what do you got to say about this all this? This is Chad Farwick. What do you want to chaos. say? Chaos. chaos. But you got to have chaos to create order. Yes, exactly. Yes. There you go. All right. So. And this is coming to a racetrack near all you bitches. And okay. we love you. <laughs> this, is, this is from... BullsIncorporatedRaceCars.com Chassis and Fabrication from Elberfeld, Indiana Warwick County I don't know about .com but um, we oh, lost the drawers we love you and appreciate you and we love the milkman and everything he does oh my god and here we go you know the milkman right Okay. You know the milkman right there. We know the milkman. Yeah, he, he had a lot of stuff going on. I heard on. about your mama and the milkman. Whoa. No. Come on. You want to talk my mom concerning his mom and the milkman? I'm just saying. I heard about what, David heard Chappelle and the milkman. Whoa. David Chappelle, he'll hold you hostage. <laughs> Trailer Park Garage, baby. All right, so this is what we got. I got to run to the bank. When I get home, I'm pulling the intake off. I'm going to go ahead and take it to Boone because Boone is going to fix it up to put some injectors in this hole. So that's probably going to be the last thing that we do. Um, I got caught up on a couple of things this week, I guess, and I got to leave for Shreveport tomorrow. So when we leave this is probably going to be how it's sitting um of course <clears throat> goodness without the intake on it and all that shit so we'll get that off uh i gotta show you guys the throttle body hold on a second bam look at this jewel that's what i'm talking about a little bit of air right there huh hey so we got the throttle body great um yeah, I need to buy some injectors and we're set. So, run to town, be right back, come on.
All right, so I just got a phone call. I got to run to town and wrap up a couple of things. So we had some good momentum going working on the hot rod. Didn't really get shit accomplished, but it's something. So I'm probably gonna wrap this video up, put it together, do all that jazz, and then we'll go into part three of tearing home up down. But uh, I wish you guys all happy holidays. Uh, go spend some time with your family. Do a little bit of hot rod jazz and stuff. I'm gonna head to Shreveport in the AM hours. And hopefully tonight I can edit this video and get it out before I leave. So, Merry Christmas.